Hello everybody, my name is Miss Vanessa and I'd like to welcome you guys to another Steam at Home. So this season of Steam at Home is a little different because we now have Taken Makes. So the week before the video you can come into the library and pick up your very own Take and Make sheet um, and it'll have some stuff for us to be able to do together. So if you already have your Take and Make then you should have gotten a Tangram sheet and a make your own tangram. So before we get started, I want you guys to pause the video if you haven't done this already, but I want you guys to color in all your different shapes and then cut them out so that they are each individual shapes. Uh, so that way we can build stuff together. So you can do that now. So before we get started on building, I wanted to talk a little bit about tangrams. So tangrams are actually known to have come from Imperial China. Uh, they, they came from the Tang Dynasty and eventually traveled to Europe and they've been around for a really long time. And the really interesting thing about tangrams is it's made up of these uh, seven shapes and you can move them around and you can make a whole bunch of different shapes out of that. It can start as a square, but then you might end up making a top or a goose or something else just by moving the shapes around in order to fit them together. Uh, and so in China, it's actually called Jin Chao Pan, and that means intriguing seven piece puzzle. Uh, and so I wanted to work together in order to build some different things using our tangrams. So before we do that, I wanted to talk about our different shapes that we have here. So my first shape is a parallelogram. So that means that it's got two parallel sides uh, this way and then two parallel sides going this way. Now we have one, two triangles that are a little smaller. We have one, two triangles that are a little bit bigger. We have one triangle that's a, kind of in the middle. And then we have a square. And using these shapes, we can actually make a whole bunch of different things. So I have our first sample here. If you want, you can actually start building, but I think we can work together in order to figure out what shapes these are. And so if we wanted to start at the bottom here, it looks like we have two big triangles. So we've got to take our triangles and kind of form them into this shape. So we have flat edges here and they come to a point. So we've got to find our flat edge and let's see, it's gonna be like, that. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing with our other big triangle. So we need that flat edge and it's gotta come to a point. So it's not like that. It's not like that, but yep, there we go. So now we have our triangle and it looks like we have another triangle. This blue triangle here is kind of that medium sized triangle. So that one, I think we can confidently say will go there. Now, Next, it looks like those two smaller triangles are over here. So let's take our two smaller triangles and one goes like this and the other one should, ooh, is that right? Yep, I think so. The other one should go like that and this one's easy. This is our parallelogram. It should just fit in right there. And then we have our square. So here we go. We made our first shape. We made a top, which I think this one was probably a little bit harder than the rest that we have going on here. Um, let's do the next one. 
So our next one is gonna be a goose. So I think we are gonna start with a triangle. So I have to compare this triangle to the other triangle, which is right here. It looks like this one's bigger than this one. And then we have our one, two bigger triangles here. So let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna move all of our shapes out of the way. Now let's start with our medium sized triangle. And I think that's gonna go like that. And then we have our parallelogram that just goes right here. And then it looks like we have our square, which is over here. And our square kind of goes at an angle like that. Now we have a small triangle here. I think that goes there. And then we have another small triangle going this way. And now we have to figure out how to put our bigger triangles. So it looks like it's going at a right angle like this. So I'm going to put that right here. And then this other one goes like that. And now we have our goose. So I think we could do one more together. And then inside of your make and take, you're also going to find some more puzzles that you can do at home. So I think a fun one to do would be this rocket. So let's put our rocket here. And what I like to do is look at the triangles first. So it looks like a little triangle, a medium triangle, some big triangles, and here's another little triangle, and here's our square and a parallelogram. So it should be easy. Let's move everything out of the way and start with that first little triangle. So, little triangle, and now I think is medium triangle, which will go like this. Now we have a bigger triangle, which I think will fit right there. There's another big triangle right there. And then let's do our right side first. We'll do square, little triangle, and then parallelogram should fit right here and there we go there is our rocket and so now you guys are able to see how we can fit these pieces together in order to make different puzzles and how to make different shapes so you guys have some uh, puzzles that look like this where you can see each individual shape and then you also have silhouette puzzles, which are much more difficult because you can't see the individual shapes and you have to kind of guess what shapes would go where, which can be really, really tough. But good luck with those. And I hope you guys had fun working with me to create some of these puzzles. Uh, don't forget to come in next month to pick up your take and make. Uh, and we'll see you then. Bye.